This presentation is getting started with the audio player for the SK S7 G2 starter kit. The purpose of this training is to demonstrate the audio player application for the Renaissance Synergy SK S7 G2 starter kit. Audio player is a human machine interface HMI application that uses the Synergy software package SSP with Express Logic's GUI X, USB X, and File X. The program consists of a simple file browser with audio playback capabilities. The interface employs several GUI X widgets and touch controls to manage the underlying audio playback framework and the mass storage controller. The objective of this application is to import the audio player project and compare the installed components to the application note. You will import the project through E Squared Studio Integrated Solutions Development Environment ISDE to configure and run the application. You'll access data on an FAT or FAT formatted USB mass storage device and you'll demonstrate the application is running. Requirements The target device is the SK S7 G2 board. Additionally, you'll need the minimum PC requirements as seen here on the screen. Software. Installed software should be the Synergy E Squared Studio with a release of 5.0 or later, Synergy Software Package version 1.1 or later, ThreadX version 5.7, FileX version 5.2, USBX version 5.7, SP2, and GUIX 5.2. We'll also use the test DAV 2D version 3.12. The audio player application supported file formats. The audio player application is compatible with uncompressed WAV files in PCM format. Please make sure the audio stream is signed mono with 16 bits per sample and sampling frequency of 44.1 kHz. The audio player will prevent incompatible files from playing. Supporting documentation. This video is based on the application note Renaissance Synergy Project getting started with the audio player application from June 21, 2016. This application note is available on both the Renaissance Electronics website and the Renaissance Electronics Support Gallery. Importing the project to eSquared Studio. To import the project to E Squared Studio, this step is included to give you the ability to skip the development steps and start at the point of verifying the working project on the SK S7 G2. For additional information on how to go about importing a project into E Squared Studio, refer to the application note Synergy Project Import Guide. Once we have imported, generated, built and debugged the project and it is now running, we'll be able to see screens on the LCD screen of the SK S7 G2. The splash screen. You will see the splash screen just after the start of the program. The screen is drawn by Express Logic GUI X using the SSP GLCDC driver. After several seconds, the screen changes to the USB screen determined by the presence of the USB mass storage device. Taking a look at the USB screen, this screen is displayed when a USB mass storage device is not detected. Certain devices are recognized fast enough for the application to skip the screen and jump straight to the main screen. Others will require additional time to fully initialize before being recognized by the Synergy board. It will also be displayed when no mass storage devices are plugged in. Once we have plugged in our mass storage device, we will see three types of screens. The stop screen, the playing screen, and the pause screen. The main audio player screen appears once the USB mass storage device has been detected. Starting at the top of the screen, you'll find a status bar, a file browser, and three buttons. The interface dynamically adjusts to reflect the current playback status and provide necessary functionality. The file browser allows the user to explore the system and open a PCM WAV files for playback. The stop screen. You can use the scroll up and scroll down buttons to view the contents of the file list. Once you have found the selection, you can press the play wave file. The playing screen. During play, you can rewind 10 seconds, pause, 
or fast forward 10 seconds. The pause screen. You can restart from the beginning, resume play, or exit playback. Due to limited screen space, the application utilizes two onboard push buttons, S5 and S4, for playback volume control. So let's go through a demo. After we have started E Squared Studio, we want to import the project. I have already downloaded the project from the gallery and I have extracted the files from the zip file. Here's how you go about importing a project. You go to File and Import. Select Existing Projects into Workspace and say Next. You then want to browse to the location of your project. This project was built for the DKS7G2, the PE HMI1, and the SKS7G2. We'll select the bottom one. It is a zipped file. Here you can see that the project is selected and that our finish key is dark black. At this point, we want to expand our project. Click on Configuration XML and we want to make sure that we have the configuration perspective. The way you adjust perspectives is by clicking on this icon up here and selecting the appropriate perspective, which is what we're already looking at. We then want to generate the project content, build our project, Upon completion, we can see that we have zero errors. The next thing we want to do is debug. But before we debug, we go in and confirm the debug configuration. Go in here, select the audio player, and make sure that the executable ELF file is known in the application. It is, so we'll be able to continue on by hitting debug. This screen pops up when it, it asks you if you want to change to the debug perspective. Remember that it will stop at two breakpoints. One is directly underneath the reset handler, so we hit resume, and the second one is right after main, so we also hit resume. Notice at the bottom left hand side, our project is running. At this point, we can take a look at our SK-S7G2. Now that we have imported, generated, built, and debugged, the project is now running. To verify the application, we will first insert a FAT formatted USB drive. You will note that the USB drive is immediately recognized and the screen changes to the stop screen demonstrating the GUI X functions. Within the stop screen, you will see files listed demonstrating the file X functions. We will select one of our WAV files and press the open button, and then we will press the play button to demonstrate the overall functionality. During this process, I will demonstrate the fast forward and the rewind for 10 seconds. To adjust the volume, you would press the S4 or the S5 buttons to increase or decrease the volume. Watching the sun bake All of the sewage is covered with oil Of course we can press stop to stop the playback. We could press exit to select another WAV file to play. We have now verified the project is operating correctly. Now that the project is installed, you can compare the configuration 
in E Squared Studio with the application note. You can start by running the configuration perspective. You should focus on the source code layout, thread layout, thread initialization, thread resources, inter-thread communication, message processing, audio thread processing, and GUI structure. The objective of this application is to import the audio player project and compare the installed components to the application note. We imported the project through the eSquared Studio Integrated Solutions Development Environment ISDE to configure and run the application. We accessed data on the FAT formatted USB mass storage device and we demonstrated the application is running. That's all for this demonstration. Thank you for watching.